Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys five exercises you all can do at home so you have no excuse to not work out during this whole like pandemic thing while you have no gym. These are five exercises everyone can do at home. Let's get into it. Alright guys, number one is going to be push-up. Yes, a push-up. Push-up super simple, but there's so many different variations you can do that work different parts of your chest and it's such a good overall workout. If you guys don't know what a push-up, this is the basis of a singlet push-up. You out in the plank position like this about shoulder width apart, and you go down, chest to floor, back up. So there's so many different variations. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna play different. There's so many different variations. I'm gonna play a bunch of them on screen right now. All right, so you have your assisted one. I'm gonna give you on your knees like this, and then you do that, push-ups. Now you have your archer push-ups. You start out like this, you come to one side, one arm. It's gonna basically work one side of your chest at a time, putting more strain on it, so you're gonna um, work it more at once. This way. Now you have a push up that basically works more tricep, it's when your arms are more in and are basically right at your sides, and you go down like this. Instead of being out like this, like a normal push up, it'll be in like this, and it works more tricep, but it also hits chest and are more difficult to do. Now, one that works at more tricep than chest at this point is the diamond push up. Well, to get to the thing from this, you have a diamond with a shape of your hand, put on the cooler, and then you just do a push up. There's many different variations, there's probably more than this, I just didn't say, but these are really basic um, variations you all can do at home. Okay, for your second workout, is gonna be lunges. Yes, I know lunges seem super simple. I know all these workouts so far are gonna seem super simple but they're such great workouts, really simple, that everyone can do, and it gives you literally no excuse not to have a workout at home. Okay, for the lunges, guys, you can see that I'm stepping out a decent amount of ways. You wanna make sure your knee doesn't go over the front of your foot. I should be stepping out a little bit farther. Yeah, like that one was a lot better. I'm keeping my back very straight. I like to put my arms on my head because it helps me keep everything open. Makes, me, makes it harder to balance, so you begin to use your core more. So these are a proper way to do a lunge. All right, so I'm in this side because like I have terrible lighting inside there and there's very limited amount of room. So like I can't move as much. All right, but for your third workout is going to be jumping jacks. That one sounds ridiculous. I know you guys all this in gym class, but jumping jacks are such a great exercise. They burn fat and they're super simple. So this is what a jumping jack is supposed to look like if you don't know what that is. All right, guys, for jumping jacks, I love doing these in between sets of workouts. They're great to keep your heart rate up, your blood moving. It helps you sweat and helps you lose weight. I love doing these exercises. They're great fat burning, burning exercises. All right, guys, for your fourth exercise, it's going to be dips. I understand a lot of you guys aren't going to have dip bars at home and stuff, but you can always use anything. Use chairs, anything you guys put next to each other and hold yourselves up with. All right, guys, for your dips, you want them to be about shoulder width apart, kind of like how they are in the video right now. And then you're going to want to go up. I kind of put my feet together. And for a chest dip, you're going to end up leaning forward more, but just like that. You lean forward and it puts more strain in your chest, you're gonna work it more. To work more of your tricep, you're gonna stay more straight up just like this and it'll work more of your tricep. All right, and then these are just how you do both of them. That's more of a chest, and that was more tricep, and now it's more chest. And that's how you do your dip. Okay, so your last exercise will be pull-ups. And I understand this one, you will need something. Well, it depends. You can always get a treat or something if you live in the woods or anywhere. Everyone really has a treat, so you could probably do it on a tree. But if you really want to, you can buy a $20 door hung pull apart. And I'm sure if you're watching this video on anything, you can afford to spend $20 on something. All right, so this is how you do a proper pull up. You wanna start off by grabbing about shoulder width apart, a little bit more or less, depending how you feel. So right here, don't extend your back as much. I like crossing my feet and you just pull up, chin over. And repeat. All right guys, so this is five exercises I wanna show you all. Um, I can keep doing these guys if, if you guys want me to, but it depends. I mean, I like them right now because the situation with everyone being quarantined, these are really good information to learn because a lot of people feel demotivated to work out because like, oh, I don't have my weights. The thing is, you don't need them. You don't need weights to do any of these exercises I did. I mean, you could to make it more difficult and gain muscle more and like just make it more challenging. But if you guys like videos like this, let me know. I'll keep making for sure. I liked it because I really love fitness, so I want to help as many people as I can. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.